the Geneva Convention of 1929 regulated the way prisoners of war were to be treated. Among other things, the convention allowed prisoners of war to stay in touch with their families by sending and receiving mail and parcels without having to pay anything for it. However, the German High Command did not allow Soviet prisoners of war to have those rights that were granted to prisoners from France or Great Britain. Soviet soldiers were seen as representative of an austere and dangerous ideology. Consequently, the German High Command ordered that the Soviet prisoners were to be cut off from any contacts to the outside world, both the organization like the Red Cross and to their families. Therefore, Soviet inmates uh, of Stalag could not even send postcards to their family or receive passes from organizations like the Red Cross. Paczki w życiu jeńców odgrywały bardzo ważną rolę, bo otrzymywali żywność i odzież w tych paczkach. Natomiast, jak już powiedziałem, jeńcy radzieccy byli tego prawa pozbawieni. Z tego względu znajdowali się w tragicznej sytuacji. Często umierali śmiercią głodową, bo byli niedożywieni. In the camp, prisoners could write letters, but there were restrictions. Letters could have 25 words as a maximum. Prisoners couldn't write anything they wanted because letters were checked before sending. They were allowed to write only positive things. They had to fill in many forms to be allowed to receive and send letters. A lot of these were sent back. Scans prisoners were generally allowed to send their families north of Beijing taken prisoner with the German Germans and information about the health condition. After the Finns re, uh, registration in the camp, the prison uh, reclave a special co uh, post control uh, with an inscription in German and is Polish uh, translation. And I'm hate slanting wanted. I was taking prison on of war and I feel good. Our, a point for the name gate unit and only uh, should be written clearly and slink natural.